Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sharani. Today I'm going to show you how to make Belizean Creole bun. Before I get into the recipe, I want to talk about Chef Pablo. We're kind of, sort of, doing a collab together. We didn't really plan this out, it just kinda happened. So this is going to be my first collab ever with another YouTuber. And I'm so happy I'm doing this with another Belizean. He has his own YouTube channel, he's a professional chef. He makes a lot of Belizean inspired dishes and other great recipes. So I'm going to leave his channel link below so you can check him out. And by the way guys, he's very funny, he's always cracking jokes <laughs> so let's get started I'm using my kneading bowl that I brought back from Belize many many years ago to that I'm adding four cups of white all-purpose flour next I'm going to add three-quarter cup of brown sugar If you want to, you can add an extra quarter cup of sugar, it depends on how sweet you like your bun. I'm adding one and a half teaspoon of nutmeg, three teaspoons of cinnamon, one teaspoon of salt, and one and a half tablespoons of rapid rice yeast, or you can use active dry yeast, it doesn't matter, it will just take a little bit longer to raise. Mix all this really well before you add the wet ingredients. As always, I'm going to have the exact measurements listed in the description box for you. You're going to need one stick of margarine softened at room temperature. As you can see in this recipe, I'm using margarine instead of butter. And I know a lot of people don't like margarine, they prefer real butter. But that wouldn't be authentic to our Belizean recipe. And mainly because most of the stores, the only thing they sell is margarine. But for us, it's butter. <laughs> we call margarine butter the Belize, okay? We just call it butter but I don't know if they have real butter now I haven't been there in a while so I don't know but I know where I come from and all the little villages you know when you go to buy butter you'll get margarine and it's the blue bonnet one so that's why I always use that in my recipes because that's just what I know growing up Next, you're going to need one and a quarter cup of coconut milk and one tablespoon of vanilla. I like to just go ahead and mix that together and set it aside until I'm ready for it. So this is the coconut milk I'm using and I usually just pour it out into a measuring cup and microwave it for about 30 seconds or so just because it's so thick in the can and then I just measure out what I need and I'm not using this whole can I'm only using one and a quarter cups add your coconut milk and mix this until everything sticks together
earlier in the video I said you can add more sugar if you want it to be a little bit sweeter and usually I add raisins to mine and that makes it a little bit sweeter so I don't need to add any more sugar but this time for the video I decided not to add any raisins and after I was finished I realized it wasn't as sweet as I would like it to be so if you're not adding any raisins I think you should add one cup of sugar but if you're adding raisins, do 3 quarter cup of sugar. I know right now it looks like it's not all going to stick together, but it will. It doesn't need any more coconut milk, I just have to keep kneading it and work the flour into the dough. I'm just going to let this play out so you can see how it comes together. If you're putting raisins in yours, this would be the time you would want to add it in. I did a poll on Instagram to see who likes raisins in their bun, and majority of the people said they didn't, so that's why I didn't put any in this video. But when I did it over on my Facebook, most of the people said they like it in their bun, so it's all up to you and what you want to do. And if you like raisins in your bun, you can put anywhere up to one cup of raisins in there. When you do this, you want to make sure you roll your dough around the bowl to get every bit of flour. And you want to knead this for about 5 minutes or so or until it's smooth. I don't know if that ever happens to you, but there's always some big pieces of brown sugar in the dough, so I always just take them out. As you can see, it's not sticky at all or it's not dry, that coconut milk was just the perfect amount. This is the way I grew up kneading dough, this is the way my mom did it. So if I was making flour tortillas or johnny cake, I would knead it the same way. I just wanted to mention that I have a different bun recipe out already. It's my Belizean hot cross buns. It has eggs in it. It doesn't have any coconut milk. It's a slightly different recipe and it tastes a little bit different. So I'm going to leave it linked below if you want to check that out. After you finish kneading it, shape it into a ball and cover it with your tortilla cloth and put it in a warm place to raise. You wouldn't be a true Belizean if you don't have no tortilla cloth, right? <laughs> Everybody have the tortilla cloth. I'm going to let this raise for about an hour and a half to two hours or until double in size.
To grease my pan, I usually like to use the same margarine and just grease my pan. So this is what it looks like two hours later and I just like to roll it out and shape it into a log and then divide it into eight equal pieces. I'm just rolling it to pick up everything off the bowl. I don't want to leave anything behind. I like to go back and pick up each one and make sure they feel like the same size, you know. If you need to pinch off some from the other one, just do that. Just try to make them as equal as possible. When it comes to rolling it, I like to just roll it in my hands. And that's just easy for me. So I roll it on one side and then I turn it and roll it, turn it roll it and do that until it's smooth and then set it down on the bowl and cup it in your hand and make it into a ball. Don't forget, you can always follow me on any of my socials. They're all Cooking with Shirani on Facebook and Instagram. And on Instagram, I share a lot more stuff over there. I'm always sharing stuff in my stories. So follow me if you don't want to miss it. When you put them on your pan, make sure you space it out because you want to give them enough room to raise. Cover that with your turkey cloth and let that raise for about 2 hours or so or until double in size. Oh my goodness, these look good already and I haven't even baked them yet. Bake this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. Now I'm just going to brush some melted margarine on top. Chef Pablo, I hope you listen to this. I know your mouth water must have run for some of this bun, but I didn't make this specially for you, no. <laughs> well, we could make a deal. If I make the bun, you bring the cheese. How about that? These buns just look so pretty, I don't even want to eat them. They're so cute. 
I'm just going to set these on a wire rack to cool and as you can see they're burning my fingers they're so hot After they cool down a bit, I'll come back and tear one open so you can see. I don't know how you like to eat your bun, but we as Belizeans, we love to eat bun and cheese. Oh my goodness, that's the best. And these buns are just so good. They just bring back so much memories from home. And they're so soft and so nice and they have that coconut flavor and it's sweet and oh my goodness it's the best and for me the best part is to peel the top off the bun I don't know what it is about that but that's just so satisfying <laughs> Well, I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help out my channel. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you have not yet subscribed, please don't forget to do that. And I'll talk to you in my next one. Take care. Bye.